first worried a little bit about taking my little one out for a bike ride, thinking it was a bit of a selfish thing to do, but actually it turns out kids love being in the outdoors. Oh. Yeah. Thanks to our good friends at Kids Ride Shotgun, we're going to show you the best way to ride with your kids. You didn't shout bikes, Lucas. You say bikes. Bikes. Say bikes. 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 And bikes, yes. Hold on. Hold on. It's pretty good, you know. Make it. First thing I would do is make sure they're into it. Forcing kids into something they don't want to do is never a recipe for fun. Lucas, do you want to go for a bike ride? Yeah. That was forceful, but he loves it. <laughs> Occasionally, they might need a little friendly encouragement to get out, but you work out pretty quickly if they change their mind and get into it. Using a bike to go to the park is a good way to spend some time on the bike and get better without even noticing it. Don't make it too serious or try to coach them too much. It's easier to badger your kids all the time. Don't do that, do this. This should be fun, not too much work. See if they have any friends that might want to go for a ride as well. You never know, they could become lifelong riding buddies. Get the right bike. Lucas loved ripping around on his first balance bike, but when he outgrew that, I bought him this bike that has pedals and brakes, and all of a sudden, he lost interest. He went from loving going out for rides, just not be bothered about going out on his bike. It's basically because there was too many things to deal with, so I took the cranks and pedals off, so now he's just learning how to use the brakes, and he's loving it again. Also, make sure you have a bike that fits them comfortably. It's tempting to get the next biggest size, but they can lose confidence if they can't reach the floor or pedals. Plus, if you get a good kid's bike, then they keep their value really well, so it isn't too costly to swap them out more regularly. Good tires and brakes can help them get shredded. Having their own bike to mess around on is cool, but if you want to go out for a proper ride, then taking them out with now? you can be really fun as well. We're Being in the great way. outdoors and chatting away is a lot of fun. It's bonding time. Don't make it too hard. Avoiding the big hills with the little kids is probably a good idea, but you can help out. A lot of kids aren't that keen on riding uphill and it can be slow going, but offering to share things like snacks and the workload has been a winning combo in my experience. Make sure you start out on mellow trails to see how they get on and build up slowly as they get more confident in tackling stuff. Don't jump into a black straight away. Also don't forget that little wheels can make it harder than riding on a full size bike. When you've got a tow rope, it's great to get them up the hill, but you've got to make sure you take it off when you get to the top, otherwise they can crash into the back of you but also just making sure they know what you're doing by saying, are you ready to go? Follow me or tell them when you slow down. Really helps out. Hold on tight, watch, we're gonna do a skid on the rock. <laughs> From around two years old, the kid can sit in the front with you on this front mount seat and hold the bars so it feels like they're actually in control of you, but secretly they don't know we're in control. Like he wants to go through the mud. I'm mad. You ready? I'm too mad. You want to go to the mud? Yeah. Okay, so you're dropping in. Drop it in. Good boy. Oh. oh, what's up? It's a good idea to run flat pedals when riding with your kid so you can quickly put a foot down so you don't fall over. And also a dropper post or a low fixed seat post so you can easily lift your kid on and off the bike. Yeah. Make sure you prepare. It's definitely worth keeping the rides fairly short to begin with, but in springtime, myself and Lucas, who's almost four, were regularly going out for an hour or more. But it's best to keep the rides short to begin with for both of you. If you don't have an e-bike, it can be a workout towing them or even with a seat.
Kids still love getting out in the wet and cold and splashing in the mud. Let's mud. Go mud. You ready? Let's go mud. But rides can quickly be ruined with cold hands, so go prepared with gloves. Or snacks can be a lifesaver. Just remember not to push it too much because you could ruin it for them for a very long time. <laughs> Careful, Daddy. Fun. Without that stuff in your mouth, go fun. Fun. Prepare. Prepare. Without jelly in your mouth. We're going to show you the best way to ride with your kids. Let's try again. You try again. Okay. I'll show you poo. I'll show you poo. Shower up poo. Well, shower and poo.